welcome back so today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this look and this is a holiday look it is that time of the year Thanksgiving is coming up Christmas New Year's and family is gonna be coming over it's gonna be a lot of celebrating but yeah I think this look is so perfect for the holidays I know it's been a while that I have posted on YouTube I have seriously been neglecting my poor little channel and I I'm glad to be back. I really do want to make an effort. I know I've said this before, but I really do want to make an effort to post mo more videos. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sandy. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for clicking on my video. Don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you all. And let's get to this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. After applying that, I'm going to grab a blending brush. And with my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, I'm going to go with the color Aldman Truffle and add that to my crease. And now with the same palette, I'm going to go ahead and grab Mocha and also add it to my crease. Using the same palette, I'm going to go with the color Vortex. And it's like a burgundy-ish color and also add it to the crease and now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion I'm just gonna clean the lid and cut the crease and with the flat brush I'm gonna get the color molasses chip and just add it to my crease Now I just decided to go with satin sheets and add that to the inner corner of the lid. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of that Bordeaux color and add it to the crease just to clean it up. So I did curl my eyelashes and added a little bit of mascara. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add some eyeliner. I'm going to use my Pony Cosmetics Pegasus Liquid Liner. I do feel like I went a little long. I might keep it or clean it. So I'm getting my concealer with a brush. So see guys, it's okay to make mistakes. You can fix them. If you can't, you can take it off, start all over again, which I don't want to. All right, so we're just gonna do the face right now and we'll finish up with the eyes after. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to prime my face with the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth Primer. It's not one of my favorite primers, to be honest. I like the primers that cover my pores because I have really, really big pores. And I feel like this primer really doesn't do that, even though it's just blur and sm smooth, but it's really affordable. Now I'm moving on with my foundation and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. I am in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. I really, really like this foundation. This is my first time ever trying this. Well, this is my first bottle. I have really dry skin, especially during the fall and the winter, and this foundation feels amazing. All right, so now I'm gonna conceal my face, and I'm going to use my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes in the shade Light. And then now we're just going to blend it out. And then I'm going to right away set the concealer. I'm 
then I'm gonna set my whole face also. To set my face, I use the Ben Nye Natural Set Colorless Powder. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bake. So like I said, I do have dry skin and baking is not always like a good thing to do with dry skin because it makes your skin feel more dry and more heavy. But when I'm out with people and like gatherings or parties, I do tend to sweat and I do get oily. I'm not a happy camper in crowds or just a lot of people in general. I like to bake so my makeup can last longer. So I do it on my nails, on my mustache area, I mean my upper lip area. And and my forehead. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with my Morphe Brushes 06F palette. I've had this thing forever. I don't even know if they still carry it. Oh, and then with my Luxie 650 Precision Angled Contour Brush, I'm gonna contour my face. And then I added some to my jaw line because I don't have one. I do. I just got to look for it. And then I'll add some to my bottom lip. I like these brushes because they blend so good. I'm going to wipe some of that baking that I did with that same contour palette. I'm going to contour my nose. So now with my Hula Bronzer, I'm going to go over the contour and just blend that all out and give my face some warmness. Okay, so I'm going to spray my face with some Fix Plus. I'm getting my favorite palettes, which is the Anastasia Glow Kit in that glow. And I'm going to grab Dripping Gold and then I'm going to get Sunburst and go over it just to make that brighter. And with my finger, I always like to add on the tip of the nose. And I did sunburst, and with dripping gold, I just use a little bit up here. And then now we're gonna go with the Milani Luminoso Baked Blush and add that to the apples of my cheeks. So now we're gonna move on to the eyes again. I'm gonna use the same colors I used on my crease with the Too Faced Bon Bon's Chocolate Palette. I'm gonna get the Almond Truffle and add it to the bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna go with Mocha and also add that. And then now I'm gonna get the color Bordox and then just put it really close to my lower lash line. And then now with my Absolute Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in white, I'm gonna add that to my waterline. I'm gonna add some mascara to my lower lash line. And for my inner corner, I'm gonna get the color Satin Sheets. So now for my lips, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Avenue. 